Red Feather from Grepax. In this Krita video, as you can see, we are utilizing version 445. And we will be showing you how to take drawings, copy and paste the drawing, and then use the drawings on the Krita timeline in different scenes. This video was requested in our comments. Although it is a bit rustic, if you will, it is for example purposes only. Notice on our Critic Canvas, we have created two faces. We have went to the menu bar, clicked edit, copy, then edit, paste. This has taken our Krita drawings and placed them on their own paint layers. If you do not know how to copy and paste in Krita, please see our video, Krita, How to Copy and Paste. For this Krita example, I have removed the drawings and created a background scene. I will use for the first part of this Krita project. Also, I have added another layer and created a background scene for the second half of this example. If your Krita background will not change, there is no reason for the second background. Being that said, we must first consider one of the most important Krita functions, the Krita timeline. Each Krita layer has a place on the timeline. If we look in the Krita layers window and then look at the timeline, the order is the same. So, we need to organize our Krita layers window so as we can utilize the proper drawings for the first scene. Just for a note, we are calling this Sad Happy Garden. We will be utilizing the sad face first, so grabbing the sad face in the credit layers window, moving it down on top of our first background scene. There is no reason to move the second as it is already in place as you will see. Now that we have things paired up, it is time to move to our Krita timeline. This is where things can get a tad confusing for the newcomer. First be assured you have the, the proper layer you wish to work with highlighted in the Krita Layers window. Then, looking on the right of the timeline, scroll so as to recognize the layer on the timeline. Now you can see we have duplicated our, our keyframes out as far as we would like this Krita scene to run. Turn on the onion skin. Going to the, our first keyframe to be manipulated. Then go to the toolbox, clicking on the rectangular selection tool. Drawing a box around the Krita drawing, then to the toolbox, clicking on the move tool, move it to a proper position. Highlight the next key, Krita keyframe, Click the rectangular tool, once again drawing a box around the drawing, moving it to the next position. Keep doing this with each keyframe until each keyframe is in its place. Once this is done in Krita, you could give it a quick playback if you like. For our Krita background scene, we just duplicated our scene all the way to the point that it is needed. Now, 
that we have completed our first scene, we can move to the next. Remember to highlight in the layers window the layer you want to work with. Then look at the timeline. Adjust the credit timeline so as to see the layer you will be working with. Notice on our credit timeline, our first scene ends at keyframe six. So the object is not to have the second scene play in the first. So we need a separator, if you will. For this, we will use an opacity keyframe. But first, we must prepare our credit timeline. Go to keyframe eight, duplicate the credit keyframe. Then duplicate the keyframes to where the scene will end. Next, go to the credit keyframe six and highlight it. Once this is done, go to the credit animation controls, click the drop down menu for the add keyframe and click add opacity keyframe. Then on the credit timeline, go to keyframe zero, grab it and bring it to keyframe seven. Notice if you give it a playback, nothing has changed yet. Then grab the credit opacity keyframe, dragging it to frame zero. Then grab the opacity keyframe again, from keyframe zero, dragging it back to keyframe six. Now notice on our credit timeline, on keyframe zero, we have a diamond shape. And on keyframe six, we have a diamond shape within our keyframes, just what we want. So now if we give our scenes a playback, we can clearly see our credit scenes are separated. Now it is time to move to our final copy and pasted drawing. Remember to highlight the proper credit layer in the layer window and adjust the timeline so as to see it properly. Once this is done in credit, go to keyframe eight and duplicate the keyframe. Duplicate the keyframes out to the end of frame. Highlight frame six, go to the credit animation, click the drop down menu to add a keyframe, choose add opacity keyframe. Go back to the credit timeline, move keyframe zero to frame seven, go back to the crit Create a keyframe six, grabbing the opacity keyframe, moving it to zero, then from zero back to six. Examine to see the diamonds at both ends. Once this is done in Krita, you can give it a quick playback if you like. Next, once again, using the rectangular selection tool and the move tool from the credit toolbox, adjust your copy and paste the drawing to their proper animated positions within each keyframe. Once this is done in Krita, give it a playback. And if you are happy, it is time to export as a mp4 this is what you choose near the end of this video you will see our rendered project after further editing was done within kdn live 
our video editor of choice. We hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber, ringing that bell in order to receive notifications your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.